consider a particle moving in a circular path of radius r. r. Let O be its center and R be its radius. Let at a time or at time equal to zero or the initial position of the particle be at A and after some time T, after some time T, let its position be at B. This length will be radius and o, o A equal to OB. So consider a particle in a circular path circular path of radius r radius r let omega be its angular velocity be its angular velocity angular velocity means the angle in radians covered per unit time let this angle be theta theta here this is the angular velocity omega we have we have let this this distance a b this straight line distance be delta s let or we have a b equal to delta s which means the displacement between the points a and b from from the triangle triangle AOB AOB we have angle we have angle in radians angle equal to arc length divided by radius see angle is equal to arc length by radius we know this formula here angle is equal to theta arc length is since this AB is very small this length of the arc is almost equal to AB. Clear? Provided the AB must be very small. If AB is very small, the distance, the arc length and this distance always remains the same. So arc length is equal to delta S. Radius is R. Clear? It will be convenient to write delta theta instead of theta so just write delta theta because the theta the angle is very small so just write delta theta so here also write delta theta delta theta equal to delta s by r what will happen when you divide let's let let the time taken to move from a to b be delta t let delta t be the time taken time taken to move the particle from a to b a to b and let's call this as equation number one and what will happen when you divide equation number y 1 divided by with delta t this will be delta theta by delta t you should multiply divide delta t with the lhs or and with the rhs delta theta by delta t is equal to you can take this one by r outside one by r into delta s by delta t clear you know change in angle change in angle divided by t is omega we have omega is equal to delta theta by delta t so this will be omega is equal to 1 by r rate of change of displacement that is we have velocity will be change in displacement by changing time 
V. So this is the expression or this is the relation between angular velocity and linear velocity. Or in other way, other way you can write, you can take this R to the left and you can write V is equal to R omega.